Hello, so I wanted to go ahead and make a quick video because I made a couple of changes to our JIRA board. Um, we'll kind of jump right into it. Uh, I know a lot of us have been using, uh, we've been focusing in on the Skyward Studios uh, board uh, inside of the Agile plugin, and there's nothing wrong with this. This is fine. This is absolutely workable and, and effective. But I did want to give, I, I know some people might be more in, interested in uh, using a different method. So if you don't prefer using that method, you can now work within our new dashboard. Uh, so it says Skyward Studios LLC. You can find it by clicking dashboards and, uh, and finding it uh, right there. So at the top left, top right, uh, bottom, and bottom right, we have a couple of gadgets here, all of which uh, provide different information. Uh, some, of the, some of the information here is redundant. Um, but it's still there to just give everybody options if you'd like. So starting with this, um, this tells you the name of the sprint that we're in. Uh, so right now we're in sprint three, lay the foundation, and we have two days left. So this is how many days left you have in the sprint. Uh, in addition, it'll show you the number of story points. So this kind of tells you our overall progress. Are we doing okay? Are we, you know, are we are we getting enough done? Right. This is almost like your thermometer uh, type of progress bar. Uh, in addition, you can kind of see how much time has gone by and how much work is done. Uh, one thing we're going to be using down the road is blockers and, and uh, flagging issues, and we'll be able to easily see that with these two right here. So that'll be really neat, actually, in the future. Um, as our work starts to scale, the number of issues we have uh, goes up quite a bit. Uh, now, you'll notice right here is our burn down, and this is, a, this is probably the most important thing here. Um, in the sense that I want to make it easy for everyone to see the burn down chart. And so bringing that to, to you on your dashboard next to all of your issue tracking um, is a really powerful way to you know, stay focused and to, to limit the amount of time there on here, um, but getting as much information uh, while, you, while you are. So uh, you can see the burn down. There's nothing else special as far as what you do here, but obviously the red is uh, burning down and the green is the time that we spend in actually log work and, uh, and get stuff done. Um, so over here, now I have uh, some disappointing news. What I was really hoping for with this particular gadget, I was really hoping that I could actually drag and drop. Unfortunately, you cannot. This is just a visual display. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, that being said, you can actually click individual issues. Um, and you can actually, like log work, you can go directly to the issue. If you want to see like all of the information on the issue, uh, you can click it here. And I'll go ahead and open up a new tab. And so for this particular one, it brings up kind of like the main view of that particular issue. And so you can change anything here, like the to-do, the different swim lanes are up here. You can log work by going to more, hit log work. Uh, you can see the, the, the actual like, history of the item. You can see the activity. Um, and you can see the, like, the priority. You can also edit all of these things as well. And that's helpful if you want to kind of see kind of more of an overall view of a particular issue. Um, now, if I do change something, it does, when you come back to this view, um, it will refresh, so that's quite nice. Um, now over here, uh, in the Assigned to Me section, this will show you everything that's assigned to you. That includes things that are not on our projects. So if you have anything left over from your Capstone games or from other uses in Jira, um, you want to just go ahead and go to the cog over here for a given issue. Uh, you can easily uh, resolve an issue. Um, now for these issues, this is we use in progress to do and done. Um, there's close and resolve issue that a lot of other uh, workflow workflows in Jira use. Um, so be sure to to clean the stuff out that you're not using so as to make this more functional. Now the cool thing is this does tell you everything uh, you need to do in addition to um, this view over here. So yeah, there are redundancies here, and that's fine. The point is not to to make a one catch. You know, one size half fits all. This is to make things easier for you. Um, now, the cool thing is you can just go ahead and directly log work within this cog by picking it from the drop down menu. Um, you can make any other changes. You can you can also go into the bigger view by hitting edit, and you can also comment. Um, so all of these are really helpful. You can also attach files and screenshots. This is really good if we decide to use Jira for our bug tracking. So all of these are really helpful. And then, of course, this is just more of that, you know, the generic feed kind of gadget. The activity stream, this just shows you everything that impacts our Skyward Studios uh, Jira board. Uh, so anyways, that's all I wanted to talk to you about. I hope this is helpful. Um, you know, some of you might want to adopt the new dashboard. Others might stick to just sticking on the active sprint um, and backlog. 
place in our Skyward Studios board. But the point is you have options, and I hope this helps. So anyways, that's all I have for this video.